hi guys welcome back to my channel today i am going to show you how to scan your nissan leaf using leaf spy pro and how to uh, remove any faults if there are so uh, while your obd2 connector is connected open leaf spy pro and wait until it synchronize with the obd2 connector let's see yeah uh, green means it is now connected with the obd2 connector then uh, click top right corner to access this menu then go into settings on the first screen under service screen there is a untick box uh, just tick it nothing will happen and press back key once then you will access this screen that is the service menu screen so uh, click read dtc's and again press read dtc's so this is how you scan your nissan leaf for any faults as you can see there are multiple faults here so i will go back you if you want you can save it and go back and press clear dtc's so it will uh, give you another menu so you can select which which fault you want to first uh, clear so i will select ev hev clear dtc there is a warning uh, appearing and you press clear dtc's and ffd ignoring the warning Uh, still some are remaining because my battery is, is weak and I will go back and I will again try to clear DTCs. Nope, it is not clearing. So then again clear DTC, HV battery I will select. Okay. No, it is not clearing. Clear DTCs. HVAC, there is one fault. We we'll try to clear it. Yes, one is cleared as you can see. Okay. So now HV battery, EVHEV, uh, and EVHEV is the problematic so they are still there because my battery is weak and below there is a multi av gps antenna um, fault that is uh, purposely done i have removed the gps antenna to uh, set up the time uh, correctly in this part of the world because uh, away from japan the time will uh, synchronize with the uh, gps and it will reset to japan time so in order to avoid that you have to remove the gps antenna from your uh, uh, setup hope you enjoyed the video if you like the video you can give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you can watch more and more very useful videos in future